We've got three league games left. Hopefully, three European games left. One cup final to play. Unfortunately, we're not going to play Sparta Prague, though, in the Europa Conference League. And, obviously, we lost to PSG. Again. Hey guys, Woody here, welcome back, episode 47, Sunday League, Premier League, a journeyman save. If you're enjoying this content, come on, you've got to be enjoying it at this point if you're still here. And if you've just jumped on, maybe go back and have a look at all the other ones. But more importantly, please subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, smash that like button, let me know in the comments, can we get a double? Can we get the Europa League, Euro Europa Conference League, and the Coupe de France? That's what we need. All right, let's get into it. So, uh, it hasn't been too long since we left you last. Our form's been pretty good. We um, we beat Nantes 4-0. Uh, beat Ghent 2-1 in the return leg. I mean, 4-1 four, four over aggregate's pretty good. We beat St. Etienne 2-0. Um, Prince Koza and Holman McCormack on the scorecards there. Uh, Ghent was Shurinov and Goebbels, and Nantes was Costa Mbeti and uh, Al Masali with two. We then lost to PSG. Absolutely gutting. We had Julian um, Capilla sent off after 19 minutes. And Erling Haaland struck the final blow in 93 in the 93rd minute mark. And we we had we had what would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight yellow cards. It was a very feisty game. Um, PSG actually had a they had two. Um, but this was just cutting. We held out for so long, and in the end, unfortunately, we just collapsed, um, which was gutting. So I did say I was going to come back with these two games here, but I've decided to come back for the... Because um, we've got Utrecht, obviously. We, they beat Sparta Prague, which was annoying. Um, if we have a look here, we can have a look at quarterfinals. Um, they beat them 6-5 on aggregate, so very, very close. Lazio obviously went through, as did Celtic in the other game. Um... So I thought I'd come back for the Utrecht game and the Utrecht game. So we're going to have double Utrecht today. Um, I'll do Nice off camera in the middle. And then we'll come back for the Coupe de France and probably Ren, which will give us a, um, a nice kind of... Um, and I think that'll give us our final position in the league. And then hopefully the Europa Conference League final, probably against Lazio, which will be awesome narrative. Um, I have been... Do, 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 I have been tweaking the tactic. This is Carlos Avenge version 2, so original. So I have dropped my um, attacking midfielder down to a central midfielder, which was great until I realised that Kostka can't actually play in the midfield. So he's now being trained to play in that midfield, which, to be honest, I think he can. I think he can play, I mean, is very similar. I mean, the, the worst thing is probably his tackling, but as a centre mid on attack, pretty sure that the, um, the, the match engine struggles a little bit with uh, two CMs. Well, they struggle with the CM and especially two of them um, on attack. So he's being trained there. When I first put him in there, literally the other week, he was half a star. He's up to two stars already. So he is getting better. I mean, you'd expect he's, he's a really good player. Um, we have tweaked a few other instructions. We're up to attacking now. And there's some other stuff that I've changed in here. Um, I think my tempo is extremely high. I'm just going to drop that back down. We are um, focusing play down the left and the right, but overlapping on the right and underlapping on the left. Um, nothing has changed here. Uh, out of possession, I think, is also the same. Um, and he's got the same shoot more often and get further forward. And DeMullins take fewer risks because I just want a little bit of control out the back here. Other than that, it is looking pretty good. So, like I say, Utrecht today, we're third in Ligue 1. Un, Ligue 1, sorry. We're five points behind uh, Marseille. Unfortunately, that slip-up against PSG has cost us. They've, they've obviously won the title again. Although they did lose to Monaco and obviously a little before we started, but they've only lost one. Um, we are looking good. Seven points ahead of Lyon. Uh, we're going to struggle to catch Marseille uh, as if we have a look at their schedule They've got um, Lille, uh, Goingamp, and Montpellier. So Montpellier, hopefully, I mean, will they do us a favour? I doubt, but that's a long way to climb up. We'd have to win our three games, which, you know, we can do. But with that being said, we should probably get in and play Utrecht. 
Um, this is how we're going to line up. Al Jawari in goal. He's been excellent for the last few games, I must say. Feel it right back. Uh, Capilla, Ami, Castillo, Kostka, Dumalin, uh, Adil. Uh, Russell's going to play on the left. Shurinov on the right. And McCormack is going to play up front. And it's because Goebbels got a slight injury. Sissoko is not fully fit. And uh, Jordi Ruiz, who I'm pretty sure the last episode I dubbed as like the best striker ever, has not scored in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. And he's only had one assist. So hasn't been in the best form recently, unfortunately. This 12 goals and 26 is pretty good, but it does tell me that this average rating here is not very consistent. Um, so, yeah, his finishing's gone up, which is good. So he's getting there. He's, he's 21 years old. Can't expect too much more from him, but I'm still confident we've got enough to, to, enough to, enough to go past Utrecht today. All right, in the sheds, we do the old point the finger. Well, the media's been uh, giving him a bit of, uh, a bit of, I was going to say stick, but that's the wrong word, a bit of encouragement. All right, I, I was playing it in 2D. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll change that. Uh, I was uh, 2D because I was looking at, um, uh, that's still on key, yeah, I was looking at um, how the tactic forms, and I, I find that's done better in 2D, so. But we'll go back to the 3D uh, director view now for this game, and it's Utrecht on the ball. I have one of my United States players, um, Brendan Anderson, I think it is, Anderson, yeah. Uh, in the midfield. I don't know if he's actually playing. I haven't checked, but it is us on the ball now. Russell, he has been amazing since coming back off loan. He uh, he really added a bit of spice in that PSG game when he came on. Is and let's see. Anyway, is Utrecht with the ball now? They are like twelfth in the Eredivisie at the moment, so uh, then they're they're struggling a little bit. But they were runners up in this competition, I think, last year. I think. Uh, so they do have a little bit of pedigree in it, but so do I, obviously, being runner-up with Krolov against Leicester. This feel that's a great ball, and Holman McCormack is going to make it 1-0, but I think he's going to be pinged for offside, which is annoying. No, it's been awarded. Yes, get in. Holman McCormack with his 11th goal. I think it's actually his 12th. Sure enough, Dill and Phil, let's have a look at it. Mm. We've got no lines, but it looks pretty good. Have a look at the away stats. Yeah, Brendan uh, Aronson, sorry, he is playing. Let's go back to the heat map. Al Jawari now kicks, kicks out. Goal kick. I always get that wrong. I don't know why. And it is a trick now with their goalkeeper doing a uh, doing a, a kick with the ball in the football. Go the football. Castillo now with the ball, flicks it forward, and uh, can't quite reach McCormack. Um, but Dumalin Tidies up in the midfield there, which is his job. Castillo now, Costco charging forward. Um, back to Russell. Russell has a pop, and Shurinov makes it to Eric Shurinov. 20th goal of the season. He is going to be very, very difficult to uh, to keep hold of, I think, next year. 20 goals from that right wing. He has looked absolutely amazing in pretty much every single game. He's really found his feet. Here is a deal now on the ball, striving forward, but his touch is a little bit too heavy. And he loses control, but Costa in the midfield now. He pushes forward and plays it back to Castillo. Castillo to Russell. Russell moves forward, and there it is. Sure enough, again. And we're going to be checking the offside here, but oh, it could be 3 0 after 21 minutes. He's got his finger in his ear, and he's checking, and it is. It's been awarded, I think. I think it's been awarded. It's turned up to three here. We'll. It's three. Sometimes does that football manager just decides to give you the goal and there's no big goal awarded or anything like that. But we are all over Utrecht now. Here is they try and get a little bit of um, attack going. And that was not good play. It's, it's a goal fest here at, uh, at Bordeaux. 3 0 after 25 minutes. Wow. Throw in there with Utrecht. And they're going to score again. Oh, it's hit the post. Poor. There we go with the goal kick. In extra time of the first half. And Aronson couldn't quite get there. And Amy does. Castillo on the ball now. Dumalin in that midfield. He is on a yellow. Russell on the ball. Russell with a mazy run. And it is McCormack. But a whole man McCormack. 
almost makes it 4-1. All right, we're in the sheds at half time. We have been the better team. Um, we're going to give the boys that kind of talk, I think. Get back out there, second half. We don't have any time to waste. Keep an eye on these yellows. If these guys are going to be for the next round, I will be resting them, especially with 3-1 up. Um, if we can get another one or two, that kind of books us a ticket into the final, I would say. Russell and Kostka has a pop. That long shot's a 13 that he's got, but he can't quite direct it on goal. Big trick now with a throw-in up at our end. Timber on the ball. He got the winning goal, uh, which essentially knocked Sparta Prague out. Would have been nice to face them, but um, he's someone to look at because I have a feeling he's a right back. Quinton Timber, I think. That's a great ball. Holman McCormack. Holman McCormack chips and he makes it two. Holman McCormack. Two for him, four for Bordeaux, proving why he should be the starting striker ahead of uh, Jordi Ruiz. We are looking good. All right, it's Costco now at the corner. Whips it in and the giant Belgian Capilla can only nod it over the bar. We'll look to make a couple of changes here. Sure enough, he is getting tired. 9.1 and as is Dumalin, but it is Utrecht with the ball now. We will check out Quinton Timber, I think, at the end. Definitely. Although he's playing the centre of defence, but we'll see. We'll see. And it is Utrecht now trying to get on the score sheet again and try and even up this one for the second leg. But um, my players are saying no, no, no. As Costa on the ball now in that sort of unfamiliar position in the middle of the park as opposed to a little bit more up front. And he has another pop. And it goes over the bar this time. All right, let's go and make those changes. Everyone's knackered in here. All right, let's get... Um, Costi on for Shurinov. Big, big deep breath there. Um, Prince Koza is going to come on for Demarlin. And I guess the next change will be a Dill coming off. He's on a yellow for Al Musahi. Go make me proud. These guys are all game changers. All three of them. Shurinov can't quite get it to McCormack. A little bit too much pepper. And it is Utrecht on the ball now. Looking to pass it out from their half. Knocking around using the little triangle play. Come on, let's get the ball off them. And there is that uh, Aronson, the USA man. He's coming forward. Is it going to be another one here? Oh, and it is. It is Tassos Duviscus. Duvascus. He gets his second of the day. And uh, Bordeaux is split open by Aronson there. That is not what I wanted. I'm really cutting this up through this midfield. Maybe we're just tiring, which we are. It's coming to the end of a long, long season, and we've still and we're still fighting on a couple of fronts. Three, to be pre precise, the league, uh, this Euro Conference game, and oh, and Brendan Aronson has just made this a very, very interesting game as he puts Utrecht three goals to the good, and only one behind now. I'm going to break my team. I usually haven't done that in a while, but that is poor. And they've all lost morale, which is good. Picking up a lot of yellows. I haven't got get stuck in on. Um, but that's really poor. Three goals with an HG, not even at one yet. It's Kosti, Kosti on the ball now. Forward, but McCormack can't get it. And if Utrecht score another one here, I am going to absolutely have kittens because we have thrown away a 4-1 Thrown that away. Absolutely thrown that away. What the hell? So confident going into this game. And we have absolutely pissed on our chips here. Wow. Really good fight back from them. And that's not what I want. Um, yeah, that's not good enough. Not good enough. So I've just come to this screen and I've noticed that Lampard is in charge of Lazio. So he got the job over me. Frank Lampard. He was Leon and he left Leon to go to Lazio. Interesting. Um, That's really crap. Nine shots on target and four of them went in. I was praising the goalkeeper um, and he's turned around and given quite, quite a poor performance. Um, I'm assuming he had a, a poor game. I didn't even see what his average rating was, but he must have had a poor game. Yeah, a six. That's crap. Uh, in the other game, I should say that um, 
Lazio absolutely pumped Celtic 6-1, so they're already booked their spot in the final. They're going to be tough to overcome if we can get get past uh, Utrecht, uh, FC Utrecht, uh, who were runners-up last year. So, mm, second leg coming up. Uh, I'm going to do the next game off camera. Oh, don't tell me the wheels are falling off here. Please don't tell. All right, we are back for the second leg against Utrecht. Um, the Nice game in the middle wasn't great. We drew one all. I rotated quite heavily there. What was even more frustrating is we go back. Where is it? Um, Marseille lost to Lille. So we could have gained ground in them. It's four points. There's two games left. Um, we are five points ahead of uh, Lyon though for that Champions League spot. We have got Europa League football confirmed, um, but it's Champions League I want. Uh, what's frustrating is that we literally have two days and then we've got the Coupe de France final. So there's going to be no rest. Um, it's annoying that we let in so many goals towards the end because I would have rotated this team again. But it's not to be, as we've got Aljuari in goal, fill it right back, Ainuri at left back, eight Nori, uh, Ame and Capilla there. We've got Soko, Dumalan and Adil, Gwebel, Shurinov and Homer McCormack up front. Uh, Kost Kostka on the bench. Uh, Koza misses out, as does uh, Kostki. Hopefully it is enough to get us through to the actual final gulp just realized i did all the team talking stuff off camera but here they are utrecht at home they've drawn three of their last games that obviously included us i wonder if it was the game after that as well we on the other hand have a winless in three after a great uh unbeaten run but the game is off and we're a foot i've dropped us down to positive because we're away uh, i did change this up to attacking but i wonder if that's actually hurt us there towards the end I should have dropped it back down to positive, but it is Utrecht now on the ball. And I didn't look at that timber, that man there, but it's McCormack now. He's just got a... Oh, that's a penalty. Thank... Yes, that's got to be a penalty. He's got a little bit more pace than Ruiz, and he seems to be making a lot better runs there. But anyway, this has got to be a penalty. Has got to be. and be a great, great start if it is. Yes, it is, and it'll be sure enough to take it. Here he goes. Very sure enough. 21st goal, 22nd goal of the season even for him. My apologies. I'm uh, taking the goal off him. That is good. That is good, good, good. We'll keep doing that. There's no way goals. There's no way goals. Let's not forget that. Let's not forget. And there's a corner. A deal whipping that in. And Capilla couldn't quite get there. And there's no one out there. It's because we're attacking in corners. That's what we do. We go for it. And that is nicely covered there by the defenders. We go back out on the counter to Shurinov. Homer McCormack now back to Dumarlin. He'll look for Adil. Adil puts it forward, but Homer McCormack, he's not that quick. He's not that quick, Adil. It's Nori, who we can actually buy for um, like 500k. So I will definitely be uh, exercising that option because he is a very, very good backup option. And Adil with a little chip. And Adil. Makes it 2-0. Dumalin with the assist. Great stuff from him. That's what I'm talking about. Although the same thing happened last game. But it is us on the ball again. Dumalin and it is that man Goebbels. Back to Dumalin. He flicks it back to Ame. Headed off there. We can't quite get it. But it is going to be Nori and Ame on the ball now. Sissoko back in the team. Sure enough. Sure enough. Oh, is he going to be offside? Is he going to be offside? We don't know. I've got an itchy foot. Oh. Yes! Get in. Sissoko back in the team after a bit of a layoff from injury. That is what I'm talking about. Good stuff. I just feel like I'm really over far here. Adjust myself back into the middle. It is Goebbels on the ball now. Demarlin and McCormack. That's a great ball to a deal. A deal has another pop and he makes it for deal. 4-0 after 26 minutes. Yeah, this is what you do. And that is excellent stuff. And Utrecht are falling apart here. It is 8-4 on aggregate. We are the top goal scorers in the Europa League. And we are certainly showing that today. Or it is going to be a bumper final against Lazio. Sure enough, back to Fila. He can't control it though. And Utrecht now, here they are in damage control at this point. I mean, they did come back. Four goals last time, so it is possible. 
Um, but we are just in red hot form in this game. Absolutely red hot. Ame on the ball now. Sissoko and Adil. Adil. That is his hat trick. Whoa. He just. Um, I'm absolutely flabbergasted at this. We are just absolutely killing them here. We're going to. Look at that. Wooshka. The goalkeeper's got nothing. I am going to take us take us all as a peg back next uh, next half, I think. I don't want anyone being tired. Like I said, we've got that PSG game. McCormack going to make it six at half time. We've got that PSG game in two days' time. And here we are, half time. It has just been all one way traffic. We've bought Bordeaux. Look at this. A deal, a 12 minute hat trick. And. They've got nothing. We're just killing them here. Absolutely killing them. Excellent, boys. That's it. All right. Going to make a substitution. Uh, a deal is tied. He's got his hat trick. Uh, Mosali is going to come on for him. Gwervels is also tied. It's going to be a sell on for him. Who is a key, key man? I don't want to lose Nick for the PSG game. Probably the captain, although he has... Like, it seems to be a massive amounts of stamina. Yeah, 16. He doesn't get very tired. Um, we'll leave that. We'll give the team a talk. There's no pressure on you tonight. I just turned off all the the, uh, the pressing and counter-pressing and the tempo. We're slowing this game right down because I think we have done enough. Schoenel's on a hat-trick. I am probably going to take our captain off uh, for Kostka. I don't mind if Utrecht score a few here. We are just wanting to run this game down. Um, I didn't realise, but Tumalan has picked up a yellow. I don't know if he's going to miss the final now. I really didn't pay any attention to that because I was just focused on winning this game. Ooh. Who else? I mean, maybe as well. Hmm. Free kick here, headed away, and Bravo and Utrecht. They're possibly getting consolation goal. I don't think so. He possibly is offside there. We'll have a look. No, he's not. He's onside. And uh, Utrecht get a consolation goal back as we go straight into a highlight from the kickoff. I should probably take Anne off as well, but I can't. I forgot about the other cards. Our captain's going to be suspended for the final. I can just see it now. Bum. Bum, 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 bum. Russell on the ball now. It's McCormack, and McCormack makes it six. But the referee's got to check that one as well. Is he offside? A lot of calls for that this game, and, well, oh, it's been awarded. Excellent. That's good. Oh, man, McCormack has been in excellent form. Does he start against PSG? Don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, everyone will definitely be getting a day off tomorrow, I think, as... Sure enough, that's a great ball to McCormack. And McCormack was almost in again. We should be going for the far post, mate. Anyway, whatever. <sighs> Corner now with Kostka. He whips it in. Capilla heads it over the top. Let's just blow the whistle. Let's just end the game now. Everyone's a bit tired. We'll all go home. We'll have a nice bath. That kind of thing. And is it trick now? Playing out from the back. The game's pretty much over. We're into the final 15-odd seconds. Aronson on the ball now. Bravo. He fires that over the top. And that sums up Utrecht's day, really. Just, and there it is. We're into the final. That's the full-time whistle. We absolutely smashed them. Absolutely smashed them. Well done, boys. Great performance. This confirmation, we are going to play Lazio, who are fourth in Serie A. So Frank Lamp has done a pretty good job. Um, it is in Recho Mitic, which is in Belgrade, in Serbia. So, interesting. 24th of May, when's that? I think that's after the end of the season. It's a couple of days after the last game. It is Lazio there. So, we are going to come back next next, next episode for the Coupe de France final. And it'll probably be the game against Rennes to just wrap that episode up. Oh, and then the final episode of the season will be that game against Lazio. And then we will wrap up the whole season. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're not subscribed and you've got all this way far, please subscribe. It does mean a lot to me. Smash that like button. Let me know. Can we do the double? That's the big question on everyone's lips. Can we do the double? I'll see you next time. Bye.